this weekend is Independence Day. And when you're meditating, you're actually trying to make yourself independent, independent inside. Because when you're independent outside, you have to fight off a lot of things. Other people want to tell you to do this, tell you to do that, you decide you're not going to do it. Well, on the one hand, you've got to struggle with them. On the other hand, you find yourself without support from outside. So we have to realize we are dependent on one another to some extent. But the independence that really matters is when you're independent inside. Because nobody else can force you to do the things that are going to make you go to hell. But your mind can do that. You can go to hell right in this lifetime. You don't have to worry about hell after death. You can make yourself really, really miserable. That's because of your greed and your aversion and your delusions and your fears. So you have to learn how to make yourself independent from those things. As the Buddha said, these are the things that lead us off course. Things we do because we like to do them, whether they're good or not. Things we do because we're angry at somebody. Things we do because we're deluded. Or things we do because we're afraid of somebody's power. And especially we're afraid of the power of our own creative aversion and delusion. They seem to tell us what to do, and we have trouble saying no. So when we meditate, we're making ourselves independent inside. We're stepping back from these things and realizing we don't have to follow them. And the worst suffering that comes in the world is not the suffering that other people impose on us, it's the suffering we create for ourselves. So we get the mind clear. We try to get the mind concentrated, to get focused on one thing, like the breath coming in and going out. Anything else that comes in right now, you don't want to get involved. If it comes in, just let it pass by, pass by. One of the Johns in Thailand said, think of your mind as being like a house with only one chair, and you're sitting in the chair. Anything else that comes in is a visitor. They don't get to sit down. You sit there in the chair. If you, if you get up from the chair, then somebody else can sit down. All of a sudden, they're in charge of the house. So make sure that you don't get up when greed comes in and give it your seat. Don't let anger get your seat. Don't get your delusion. Don't let, let your fears get your, your seat. You, wanna, you stay right here. These things come in, and they have to explain to them why, explain to you why they're there. And you say that they're not worth getting involved with, you just let them go. They may want to hang around for a while, but after a while, when you show that you really aren't interested, they'll start leaving you alone more and more. So if you want to have some independence in your life, this is where you've got to start. You don't want to be driven around by your cravings, driven around by your ignorance, because that's the worst kind of slavery of all. When you can be independent inside, then the extent to which you're dependent on other people outside, that's not such a burden on the mind anymore. So work on the inside first. Be free in here. Be independent in here independent of greed, aversion, and delusion. That's the kind of independence that's really worth celebrating. And the fact that somebody over 200 years ago fought for independence from the British, well, that's not that all that important. What's really important is what you do with that kind of independence, and particularly what you do to make yourself independent inside. That's what really matters. So when laziness comes up, or when tiredness comes up, or weakness comes up, you try to strengthen the mind. So it doesn't give in to these things. Remember, stay right there in your seat. Don't let anybody else have your seat. Because if they take over, then you, you're, then you become a visitor in your own house. You don't feel at ease here, because somebody else is in the position of power inside. So you want your wisdom, you want your concentration, you want your virtue to be in, in charge inside. So strengthen these things. And as I said, that's the kind of independence that's really worth celebrating.